Hi, my name is Jasmine Sama. I just submitted my application for the Barclays Small Business Award. I'm the CEO of JS Media, a branding and digital marketing agency that's now over 17 years old, which was started in a basement in New York City with the pure intention of helping entrepreneurs and executives use digital marketing in a way that they could really grow their businesses without having to afford high agency costs. And our mission is still the same. In fact, we've branched out now to support artists and warrior women in business. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my story, where it's come from, and how we're approaching the U.S. economy in 2024. So the economy in 2024 and how's it changed? It's funny because every time someone interviews me about my business and how's my business actually stayed in business as a pretty much single woman, woman owned business for so long, I always say that we rise and flow, drop and change because of the US economy. So I'm very tuned into what's happening, both from a business standpoint and a political standpoint. So the US economy, where is it today in 2024, which is where we do most of our business, right? So we've had such an influx of a population from all other countries. We have more competition than ever. We have AI and all these new tech, advanced technologies disrupting industries, including my own, which is digital marketing, which I've been in since pretty much the beginning. I started in Solo Social Network pre-Facebook, so I've been in the game a really long time. I'm considered a thought leader in digital marketing. So when it comes to changes in the economy, I'm never afraid and I always embrace it. I'm always looking to see what are the opportunities that are out there and not what are the fears. So if there's opportunities. So one thing that I've noticed, because a lot of my clients where I provide digital marketing training, consulting and advice, are companies that are coming from other countries into the United States to build US customers, right? So this is a huge, very exciting opportunity for my business because we can help them with branding their executives, we can help them with media training, we can help them with getting placed, we can help them with overall brand awareness, and we can help them by bringing those companies to our audiences that we built on the other side of my business. Now, if we talk about the other side of my business, which isn't just about digital marketing training and advisory services, which we do primarily for executives and owners of companies, and we talk about the area that I really enjoy talking about, which is supporting women in business and artists of all types. So under JS Media, under the hood of my company, I started two other divisions, one being JSM for artists, and it's a very strong mission I have to support the creative revenues or the economy of, at over 1 billion creators. So that takes into account all types of artists, including writers or authors, filmmakers, musicians, visual artists, you name it. JSM for Artists does everything to help, starting with education. So my whole goal is to help artists understand how to be business owners and do it the right way. That's a big community I've put a lot of time and effort in building. That's one. JSM for Artists includes a webinar series where I go out and I interview leaders within the artist community. So if you look on my website or on our YouTube channel, you'll see two latest interviews that I've done. One with the CEO of NAM, which is the largest music, music industry conference in the United States, as well as an interview with the policymaker, senior policymaker for New York City Arts and Entertainment, which is highly influential. And I'm involved not only as a member of different organizations, but I'm also a board and advisor on a number of organizations that support artists. So that's a big, big mission for me. And I think that the gig economy is only getting bigger. Warrior Women in Business is my podcast, event series, and conference series. It all falls under JS Media. It was a very creative endeavor, and it's a lot of work, but it has great promise, and this is where a key area where I give back to community. With Warrior Women in Business, again, as a division of JSM and JS Media, I provide education first, and then strategy and connections to female entrepreneurs and women in the arts. So how do I do that? I interview a lot of fabulous women across verticals from arts and entertainment to law, banking, so on and so forth. And it's really about having them share their stories with me 
to support female entrepreneurs that are looking to get into those industries and careers. So I've built communities on one hand, then on the other hand, I have corporate clients. And what JS Media, JS Media does is we bridge these two, or actually three, entities together. And the sum of the parts is more business to support the US economy, more opportunities for small business owners. We all know that the US economy's backbone rests on the small business owners. But the small business owners are not rewarded for all this hard work. So as a very mission-driven woman, CEO, artist, I really feel like my work is bringing this all together to help the entire community. And uh, if you'd like to learn more, you can check out my website, jasminesailor.com, that shares all the client case studies, has downloads, information, videos, access into events where I'm keynote speaking, access into my clients. You can just check out all that information there. But I'm very excited about what we're gonna do in 2024. I hope to meet you in any one of our, either our Warrior Women events, where I'm speaking, something we're doing for JSM for artists, in our offices in New York City, Beverly Hills, and in Florida, and growing.